So it's B.B. King's birthday, right? And his wife wants to get him something real special. So she goes to the tattoo parlor, and she gets a B tattooed on her left butt cheek and a B tattooed on her right butt cheek. And she waits for B.B. to get home from the gig. And when he finally does get home, she says, B.B., I got you a present. And she drops her pants, and she shows him her new tattoo. And B.B. says, Who's Bob? Hey everyone, what's up? We're back with another tutorial in Cubase Pro 10.5. Although it's not really even a Cubase tutorial, it's just something that I've started doing because I wanted all of my manuals in one place. If you ever, sometimes you'll ask questions on forums and they'll say RTFM. Well, I'm gonna explain RTFM. It means read the Falcon manual. In Cubase in prior versions, let's just jump into Cubase. If you would hit F1 or go to the help menu and click Cubase help, it would open up a PDF of the manual on your computer. Now, if you do it, it takes you to their website. It's And you have to wait a little bit to be redirected. And then it comes up and then you can load the PDF and it, you know, it's fine and it works just fine. But also if we go to their website right here, the Steinberg steinberg.help, they also have, if you go to home, you know, you can download the manuals for all the VSTs that are included with Cubase, like Groove Agent SE, Halion Sonic SE, Pad Shop, Retrolog, and whatever other inserts you may have of theirs. So I did that and I downloaded them all to a folder and I thought a good way to keep all these manuals in one place is to use an ebook reader. So the one that I've chosen is called Caliber. Uh, it's a pretty good ebook manager. What it'll do is it'll take these PDFs and it'll convert them to EPUBs, which is the format that ebooks are. So if we open up Cal Caliber, I've installed it from caliber slash ebook.com. I'll just add books. Um, and here's my Steinberg, my manuals folder. This is where I downloaded all of them to. And we just sort of highlight all of these and we open them. And then we can uh, convert all these to ebooks, convert books up here. And we want the EPUB format because I'm going to also put them on my phone. And that's another great reason to do this. Uh, sometimes I'll get comments on YouTube videos or even emails asking me specific questions about functionality within the software. And I want to make sure that I'm not uh, saying something wrong. But a lot of times I'll need the manual to suss that out. And instead of having to go through this, I can have it here in Caliber, all the manuals that I might need. And I'll have it on my phone in an app called uh, Lithium. So as you can see, these jobs, these are being converted to EPUBs. And Lithium is an EPUB reader as well. This way I know that all of my relevant manuals are in the same place. So let me just uh, show you my phone here real quick as Caliber gets the job done. So here's Lithium. You can find it on the Google Play Store. And it's an EPUB reader. That's why you need to convert to EPUB. It doesn't actually read PDFs. Um, but it's a very simple, very minimalist EPUB reader. Uh, we go in here and I've just transferred all of these files, these EPUB files to my phone. I, I've done this before. And as you can see, all of my manuals are here. And it's kind of nice. So if someone asks a question about Groove Agent, I can quickly get into my Groove Agent manual. Uh, there's a search functionality. And, and once you know the jobs here finish on Caliber, I would transfer it to Lithium via whatever means you use to transfer files. And then when I open Lithium, all of my <clears throat> all of my manuals are in the same place. And I can uh, open the Cubase Pro manual. I can open the contact manual that I got from Native Instruments, the pad shop manual. And uh, I have easy access to all of my manuals, both on my computer and on my phone. All of my manuals are in the same place. It's sort of like having a folder with PDFs, but it's actually better. And you have a table of contents here in Caliber, and it's easy to navigate the, the document, oscillator section. And I, I prefer this actually to, uh, to reading a PDF because you have the, the table of contents on the left. Uh, it's Everything looks uniform in terms of the typography that you're used to, and it's the same on the phone. I prefer read, using an e-reader to read my manuals. So if you're ever wondering uh, when someone tells you to read the Falcon manual, this is one way you can do it where all of your manuals that you use constantly are in the same place. I use Caliber on the computer and Lithium on the phone. And it's just a little trick that I've learned to keep everything together. 
So instead of hitting F1 to bring up my manuals, I hit Windows 7, because fun fact, on Windows systems, the order that you put these uh, icons in on your taskbar is the order that they open. So Windows 1 is Chrome, Windows 2 is Cubase, Windows 3 is Adobe Premiere, I'm not gonna open it. Windows 5 is my file manager. Uh, Windows 6 is OBS, which I'm using to record this video, and Windows 7, is my ebook reader, Caliber. So I hope you found this little tip helpful. I don't know if you will use it. Let me know what you do to uh, keep track of all your manuals. This has worked really well for me, and especially having it on my phone uh, at a moment's notice, because that's typically where I respond to YouTube comments is on my phone. So I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I hope this is somewhat helpful, and take care of yourselves, everyone. Peace. Who's Bob?